collection. Today I am meeting up with one of mine and your favourites, Connor from the channel The Closet by Connor, for a bit of birthday lunch, him not me, and a little bit of luxury shopping. I'm thinking window shopping but you know it could turn into something else so um, we're going to take you along with us. I will pop my outfit on, of the day in just over here. Um, uh, first outing for my Roger Vivia slides so I hope that they're kind to me my Birkin um, just because I want to go into Hermes with a Birkin how funny would that be <laughs> and yeah um, I'm wearing this Jeffree Star Christmas tree bling wet look eyeshadow which is um, super fun pop for the green eyes and of course my I can't remember the brand of this, um, but this is part of a set that I absolutely love and Fendi sunglasses. So let's go. I'm just waiting for Connor at the slide, this gorgeous little boogery bag in the window. But if I'm honest, this is what I really want. I've been spying these rings for so, so long. So beautiful. I really need to put some focus on my jewelry wish list. St. Laurent are getting a new boutique here in Brisbane, so that must be a good sign for them that they're doing well. Tiffany & Co's new boutique has been revealed a few months back, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at all this sparkle. I have to say I'm not a huge fan of these like de-shackle pieces. I think they're just a little bit chunky and masculine for me. Not a huge fan. These bangles are very pretty though. I do like those. Particularly in the white gold. I wonder if they do that in a rose gold. Say hi. <laughs> so the light just went green. Kind of put safety first. <laughs> Unusual for him. Say hi Connor. We're going to check out some Luxlink luxury oh finds. Oh, can I got me a present? Look how happy he is. What is that? Oh, these are my favourite. Thank you. I went. To, I was saying to him, I went to Coles and I couldn't find them. It's our supermarket. They've changed them. Oh, they have. You can't see them anymore. See the little things. The little things. So nice. All these Sylvies. I always used to want one of these. There's a bunch of them. And this is where people sell all the things that they bought to get their Hermes offers. Well, sadly, I didn't get to capture much eye candy because there was nobody in there and they were very attentive and it just felt weird. So I decided not to vlog. Maybe I should have asked. It was hostile. Oh, my eyes look really pretty. <laughs> Yes, Connor, yes. Um, so yeah, now we're probably just gonna mosey back to Queen's Plaza. I actually, Hermes is right there. Let's go to Hermes, Connor. You know, customers and everything. Unsurprisingly, all these people waiting to get in, but we've got to wait in line, you know game on. Well that was a bit rude. We waited and waited and waited about five minutes. They're like no, ain't nobody got time for this. I think it was longer than five minutes. Oh the man, the homeless man and his chihuahuas are um, not happy. Look. My future. <laughs> Your future. <laughs> Yeah, what is going to happen to Connor if he keeps buying luxury? <laughs> Back at our face, Stanton. Say hi, Connor. Is the camera facing you? You. Oh, how'd you figure her out? <laughs> Connor. Hi, everyone. Are you going to have fish or steak today? Uh, I want chicken and a lettuce. Oh, yeah, that was nice, wasn't it? Okay, let's do that. Yeah, so save your bitchy <laughs> touchiness. So we like to get some tapas. We like the crispy buttermilk chicken. 
and some chippies, fries, and baby cross salad. And that is a lovely combination. Okay, so bad at vlogging. So what we do is we get the chicken with the baby cross salad and some fries. So I've started to dish up my salad and this chicken here with a bit of fresh lime. I've got the Aperol spritz and we're feeling the vibes. Connor's very hungry. He's straight in. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Go and check out Fendi. Here's the new Tiffany from the inside and Saint Laurent. What's going on, Brisbane? Why are we expanding Saint Laurent here? Does nobody listen to me? <laughs> Bulgari expanded. That was a good idea. This little petite, which was an old model, new model, but it's all embroidered. See that? Cute. It's older stock though. So a few people have asked me my opinion on the Celeria mini baguette. It's very different to your standard mini. So the handle has this leather weaving through it. It's like it's quite fine, like it doesn't have that padded hump through the middle. And then I pulled the stuffing out. soft. It's got the plate inside. It's very malleable. Like I think it would wear really well. Show me yours. No. Are you similar? No, it's more creamy. Mm. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm going to show you the things that appeal to me. And this... <laughs> <laughs> Little charm appeals to me. Look at that. That's very heavy. It's pretty substantial. Looks mm. cute on that peekaboo though. <laughs> Got some sparkles here, peoples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a star. <laughs> Look, that is very special. Connor. Goodness me. Very beautiful. Brown. Ooh. And then it's back to normal. Galusha, Internet, Ostrich. Connor's accusing me. This is the emu. Ostrich. Emu. <laughs> this one's the dolphin. <laughs> We've just popped into the department store because there's a coach concession that Connor's desperately wanting to see so he can check out the quality. Coach and desperate in the same sentence. We're going to do the real work here. We've got a little bit of metallic action here. Looks like fingerprint. So then we stepped it up a notch, went to Louis Vuitton and beeline for this beautiful petite mal in what is called purple coral. It's meant to emulate what it looks like, coral looks like under the water. There were some beautiful petite mals, some new twists, some mini capucines, beautiful pieces, but I just kept going back to that beautiful petite mal, but it's too much money, too much money. Oh my god, I think we just lost a few hours in Louis Vuitton looking at that petite mal, it's so nice. I got a bum steer on the price from Meredith, so I was like, I can do this. And then it's like $5,000 more. I can't do that. <laughs> Connor needs to go to the toilet, so he's... Um, I have the bladder of an 80 year old. He does. And it's just ticked over to a 90 year old. <laughs> oh, so pretty. So pretty. Oh, luxury shopping. Dangerous, don't do it. Just doing a little look in Zimmerman, see what their prints are. That one's pretty cute. Just instantly makes you feel like you're on holiday. Oh, this is not Zimmerman. This is Camilla. Goodness me. Look at this. 
Does that not take you to Como and Malfi? Gorgeous. And over here, you might be familiar with this print because I have this dress and it's on sale now. It's marked down. So if you're looking for a bargain, and I also have the pants as well. And then there's some new linen prints here too, which are very pretty. I saw a pair of pants in this print the other day. So I'm um, going to see if I can find those online and try them. And then the beautiful traditional blue and white. Anyone going to the Greek islands? I think this might be the one that Meredith bought. So, um, we didn't buy anything. Dale ran out of money. I ran out of the $15,200 that I would need to pick up my little souvenir from today, so I did not do it. We're very proud of her. She impulse. Mm -hmm. Anyway, happy birthday, Connor. My birthday. What have you got to say for your 29th year? Uh, I'm glad that you're in my life because you're oh, fabulous. Isn't he sweet? Happy birthday. Bye guys. Bye.